Good evening, friends. I hope you're all doing and also fine. Today, I'm going to show you how you can uh, set up MongoDB on Amazon Linux 2023. So let's get started. I have in my EC2 uh, console. In the EC2 dashboard, I see all the instances that is being running. At this moment, nothing is running. So let's create a new instance. And uh, MongoDB and we keep it as a MongoDB instance, right? Let's, let's. We keep the Amazon Linux 2023 AMI and then choose D3 and the here. And uh, we need some existing secret to groups. Storage, I think it keep away this good, but for the database, I think it should be Then I have the IAM instance policy and set it up to mm -hmm. one of the instance policy that I have already created, which has SSM permission. Okay. Um, I will go very far. Now this is optional. You can choose for example. Oh, we need an uh, IP default. Let's keep it. <laughs> All other things you can keep as default. Just one thing is the termination protection. You should enable the termination protection so that your instance is not being deleted and accidental. So if all is good, then let's create the instance and uh, open up the details field. While it's taking one or two minutes to launch the instance, let's go to the our blog site where I have given instruction on how to install MongoDB on Amazon Linux 2023. So uh, it's basically we just need to connect here and then run your upgrade. And after that, you need to uh, create a .repo file and uh, then you need to add this in the repo file for uh, installing the MongoDB. Once the repo is being added, then you can run these commands. We can install MongoDB.org, install the MongoDB. And then you can uh, start it enable it for the automatic restart. So let's go to back to our console and refresh this screen. It looks like it's uh, running up. Let's click the connect button and uh, still the site is not up. The server is not up yet. So let's refresh one more time. Yes. So now you can click the connect button and uh, I can connect here because I have added the EC2 uh, role for this instance. If you haven't added it, probably you will see this option connect button. In that case, you can use SSH client, copy this command, and download the PEM file to connect it from the install. I'm going to use the session manager, which is really convenient for me. Okay, the instance is being connected. Let's log in as a root. I'm now root. Then let's run the comments. So we can run. Okay, nothing is done. We need to uh, create a file and use. Use nano, nano, and then we copy everything. Paste it here. Control text to save. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, the repo is being set up, so let's run this command to install. Okay, it is installing 7.0. Uh, if you want to install a different version, then you just go to the official website, MongoDB, and probably change the base URL from here. That should be the trick. Okay. 
the setup is done. Now let's uh, start it. So Google system CTL start mongodb then I'm going to enable it. Uh, what is enable? Enable means that you, uh, every time you reboot the server, your MongoDB will be automatically restarted. But if you don't do this, then you have to manually run this command every time your server reboots, which is not really good. So when you are setting something, always use the system Let's see the status. So status now. Yeah, the status is good, active. Yes. Happy. Now let's uh, run the MongoDB server or Mongo shell message. If you get this error, then um, we just need to run this three lines. If you don't this get this error, then it's not good. It is uh, setting up the Mongo SH. Yeah. What it does is it's removing the MongoDB Mongo SH and then installing MongoDB Mongo SH in SSL 30. Open SSL 3. Okay, so I think it's, it's, it's good. We run it one by one. Okay, then let's run it this part. It's downloading, it's a bit big. And then we want to start the message. Let's see if we are successful. Let's call it. I still get some error. Yeah, okay. The installation was good. Uh, maybe something with the error or something else different. So we were able to connect. No message, fine. Shell, that's good. Okay, now uh, the server generated this startup warnings. When you think, well, these are warnings you can ignore it. Let's, um, uh, let's run some comment. So we can create some collections, right? So um, we just go to the official documentation. Yeah. And then we want to create this. We have some button for operations inside the document. Okay, so let's run it in it. Okay, I can't. The find command gives us all the items. Look, so, so we are able to set up more to on the Amazon Linux. We can use these for your applications. And, uh, 
there are uh, alternatives in AWS like Document TV, which is uh, AWS Document TV, which is a MongoDB MongoDB compatible AWS managed service, but it's a bit expensive. So if you are just trying to experiment with MongoDB for some of your projects, or maybe you're running for dev, dev server or test server, that's okay, that's good. You can use this uh, process to run a dev server in the ICU instance, which is really cheap. Documenting it's uh, quite expensive. I used for some of our projects and it's really expensive. But check the pricing, go to the calculator and uh, check out the calculator pricing. So um, three seven for one month, but after that you will the charges are quite big. So that's why for a lot of my projects, I don't recommend to use document DB for like small applications for you are running a dev server, test server. Document DB is only good for production level applications, but for development test, you are just experimenting some features or something. So uh, in those situations, this process is really good when you use it instance, and then you can run power to right there. So that being said, that's it for today. Thank you, everyone. I hope you like this video. If you like this share with your friends and uh, subscribe to the channel. Thank you, everyone. Allah is so